Hi, and welcome to another episode of Monster Model Review. I'm your host, Rob Madison, and on this episode, we have award-winning professional model painter, John Allred. 2008 is a special year for John, marking his 30th year in the hobby. This isn't counting his early years building the original Aurora Monsters on the dining room table. John started getting back into figure painting with lead D&D figures back in 1978. Then in his college years, he started converting action figures and building some plastic spaceships. Then, the late 80s brought the beginning of the garage kit surge. John's resurgence in the hobby started with a Horizon Iron Man. In the early 90s, John entered some local model contests and after his fifth first place trophy, he was asked to help judge the future events. He also did some window displays featuring Predator for a local comic shop. After that, he entered an amazing figure model or model contest and received two honorable mentions and got to see his work in print for the first time. With the growth of the internet, John started to network with different painters and forums. And a few years ago, he was asked to write for Kit Builders magazine and did five articles for them. In 2006, John launched his website, herebemonsters.org. The last three years, John has been working with kit producers and painting private commissions for collectors. Up until a couple years ago, John painted all of his works with brush and pastels. John feels that it is very important to learn the basics of hand painting before tackling the airbrush. Here is a gallery of some of John's work.
John feels very fortunate to have had some very great clients that like to take chances and let John push the envelope a bit. John designed his workspace to help with his creative flow and to display his favorite pieces from his collection. It is truly a modeler's dream come true. To quote John, if I was to say what it is I strive for in model building, it is versatility. I don't want to be stereotyped as a superhero guy or a monster guy, just a good all around painter. I've made some very good friends through the hobby and for this I am always grateful. In the future, John is looking into creating some very limited high quality figure kits based on classic literature and iconic historic fantasy, something he's always wanted to do. Until then, he'll be in his studio painting. Obviously, John has a lot of models on his website that you didn't see on this episode, so head on over to herebemonsters.org. We want to thank John for giving us the opportunity of showing off his work. And if you have any information or a model you'd like reviewed on Monster Model Review, give us an email at modelcitizen at charter.net. And thanks for watching.